everybody welcome to this week's video card for friends with Flair Friday this week I'm going to be using the February 2010 kit of the month I um, also have die cuts with the view cardstock I'm going to be making a 4 by 4 inch card and the other cardstock I'm using is from Kane Company it's called Citronella this little yellow one I have to the side, I thought I was going to use, but ended up not using it. So um, you probably, it'll kind of come in and out of the video, but I didn't like what I was doing with it. So I got rid of it. I'm going to go ahead and stamp these little bird images from the kit of the month in Versamark. And then I will be embossing them in chocolate brown embossing powder. And then I'm also going to go back and do the tree in Versamark. And then again, embossing that also in the chocolate brown embossing powder. It's from Stepandus. I like to store my embossing powder in those Tupperware containers and then keep a spoon in there for the ones that I use most often. Just heating this up with a heat gun. And there we go. Now I'm coloring these in with a Copic marker. Uh, not Nothing fancy. I'm not doing any shading or anything. I'm just coloring them in with three colors. It's a yellow, a blue, and this green. If you want specific numbers, leave me a comment and I can update it, but I'm not that worried about it. <laughs> also, I'm using this brown color to do some shading around the edge of the tree, and then also the branches, and a little bit in those diamond leaf like objects. All right now, I just cut those out for the sake of time. I edited that from the video, it takes me a little long. It takes me a long time to cut out images like that just because I like to make sure all my edges are clean. So I'm just kind of placing these to see where I like them on the card. I'm going to make a little hill with this pattern paper from that Kane Company stack. So I'm just kind of seeing where I like them and then I'm going to be drawing in a hill with this, um, just with this pencil kind of the general general idea nothing fancy and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out I cut below my pencil line then I don't have to go back in and erase it I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down with some tape adhesive Lining it up with my grid mat. There we go. Trimming off the sides so they're even with the edge of the card. Now I'm picking out some buttons to place on these birds' bodies. I saw a couple of people doing it and I liked it, so I'm stealing that idea. Not sure who I got it from, but I like the button bodies. <laughs> now I grabbed some color box chalk ink in chestnut roan. I'm going to just stamp out my tree and my birds so I know where to place them on the card. The tree top and the birds will be pop dotted up. So if the image didn't come out very well like that tree, it doesn't really matter because they'll be covered up with what I cut out. on my little pop dots. These buttons are from Autumn Leaves. I'm not sure of the exact. It's one of the Fufula bag of buttons. Now I'm just going to be drawing in some faux stitching with my zig marker. It's in brown. Also grabbing my favorite tool, the corner chopper. And then finishing up my faux stitching. I'm going to go ahead and go around all the edges. And then um, kind of thought the top of the hill looked a little boring. And like it was missing something, so I went ahead and added in some stitching there too. Now I just went back with that Copic marker to do a little shading on the bottom of that tree. And I 
grabbed some thin ribbon and I'm going to wrap it around twice and then tie a knot. Give it a little something down at the bottom of the, the card. Again, when I tie ribbon, I leave it pretty loose and then it gives me some leeway to um, make sure the ends are going in the direction I like and I can fiddle with it until I'm happy. Not the edge. These are my fabric scissors. I only use them for ribbon. They never get used for paper. That way they'll hopefully stay sharper longer. I don't have to get them sharpened. Alright. That pretty much is the end of this card for this week. Thanks for joining me and I hope you have a great weekend.